navigation has changed so much on computers today. It's not just about moving the cursor. There's things like gestures or multi-touch that become more and more important, and a pad is very, very key to that. So we knew we wanted to have the best pad possible on a ThinkPad, which is true to the brand and what people expect. One of the things we wanted to do was drive to a flush pad. We didn't want to rely on a recess anymore for the pad to define the boundary because that impacts thickness. People want thin computers. So we needed a pad which was flush, but also allowed you to determine where are the boundaries, where are my, where are my edges without necessarily feeling them in a more uh, traditional manner. The inspiration for design can come from almost any place imaginable. In the case of the dots for the touchpad, uh, it just so happened we were in Japan working on the design of ThinkPad, staying on a street corner in Tokyo, look down and see these beautiful yellow Tenji blocks. They're there for a reason. They help people understand the boundaries, people who specifically have sight uh, impairments. And we thought, well, what a great connection. This isn't so different from designing a touchpad. People don't look at their touchpad, but they want to know where the boundaries are. So we began to model and prototype these ideas and test them. We found out that it was a great idea. The response to the new design has been very positive. I don't think it's by accident, however. We tested many, many different variations with our users and our customers. The journey starts with the customer, ends with the customer, and I think we did a great job of delivering innovation that people can understand and, and brings value to their experience.